Just like any other song, we're going to start off with Studio One Presence Keys. And I'm going to start off with this melody. And then once I find the melody that I like, I'm going to switch out the sound. I like the sound, but I got to start adding some effects to give it more personality to it. So I'm going to start off with this shaper box just to get more tone into it. And then I'm going to switch off to the sound shifter. Pitch it down. Eh. Okay, it sounds way better in a higher pitch. Then let's go to extreme and add an arpeggiator gate to it. I'm going to bring down the depth just a little bit. And then I'm going to add this delay. Then now that I added that delay, I know I'm going to have some latency, so I'm going to mix down the version. That latency is going to create like a big gap in between the timing of it. So I'm going to have to like chop it down to the point where it feels like it's on time. Okay, that feels about right. We're gonna leave it right there. And then let's add this chord progression with the same basic keys that I used earlier. We're gonna end up switching out the sound later. We're gonna use Electra again. I like this one. This one's a little dark, so it has like that ominous kind of feel to it. Alright, since the sound is a little bit unpredictable, I need to mix it down so I can chop it up and make it really fit my sound. I like it, but it feels like it's a little off on the second part. So we're gonna chop it down and we're gonna we're just gonna move it back just a little bit. Just feels like it fits, so now we're gonna duplicate that and move it into the second part of that. So now let's start adding these kicks in. Now we're gonna add in these hi hats, a basic two step. Uh, maybe add like this little add extra like what's it called and duplicate that over four bars. Let's bring in the basic clap. Let it run on a three on each bar. We're gonna add these parks in. Okay, that's our basics of our beat so far. So now let's start working on this 808. And we're gonna keep it very basic at the very beginning because we're just trying to like make sure that we got a good placement for our 808s. Now we're starting to look for the notes that will hit with those notes. Now we try to spice up that 808. We don't wanna keep it so boring. We just taste testing what the drums sound like. That last part feels a little off to me, so I'm gonna go back into it. It's actually showing me that the kicks are a little bit too too much. So I'm gonna take some of those kicks out. I call this simplifying the kick.
So I'm just trying to get the 808s to follow the kick pattern. But have their own kind of bounce to them. All right, now let's hear what it sounds like with everything into it. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So now we're going to get into this arrangement. I'm going to speed it up here. I'm just really just trying to interest, bring the sounds that I made in a very interesting way. Yeah, you see, I'm just chopping up where the drums go, making parts a little bit more interesting. So this is the full track YouTube, thanks for watching my video.